I need help trying to quit weed. It's extremely hard and it causes intense cravings. I'm going to take this topic and essentially broaden it to all substances and behaviors that are addictive. All of these things share common mechanisms in which they raise dopamine levels within the brain. This elicits a reward, which our brain will remember and cause us to seek this reward in the future. Importantly, we have tonic levels of dopamine, which is essentially the amount of dopamine we're producing at baseline. Drugs and behaviors that are addictive increase our phasic dopamine levels, which is the term for a large increase than subsequent decrease in dopamine levels. This feels rewarding in the moment, and thus we are driven to return to the behavior in the future. With that being said, many people mischaracterize dopamine as causing the sensations of reward, when in fact, dopamine is actually responsible for the motivation to seek a reward. In fact, inducing an increase in dopamine in an individual's brain may actually cause them to feel quite aggravated, in the sense that there is something that they do not yet have that they are actively pursuing. And this initial rise in dopamine actually occurs when we are seeking the reward, and the fall begins after we have begun to engage in it. It does appear that drugs of abuse decrease tonic levels of dopamine, and they decrease the number of dopamine receptors. Meaning that if we are not actively engaging with the drug or with the behavior, we have low levels of dopamine which feels aversive and causes us to feel unmotivated. We then begin to crave whatever substance or behavior elicited the initial increase in dopamine, which is responsible for the craving and the likelihood to relapse. Another unfortunate thing that happens is it increases the phasic to tonic dopamine ratio. Essentially, it decreases our tonic dopamine, but increases the amount our dopamine increases when engaging in whatever substance or behavior we find addictive. Very importantly about tonic dopamine is that it regulates the intensity of our response to an increase in phasic dopamine. If we have low levels of tonic dopamine, any increase in phasic dopamine will feel especially exciting. But if we already have high levels of tonic dopamine, an increase in phasic dopamine will feel less exciting. Therefore, this extremely low level of tonic dopamine makes any phasic increase elicit an abnormally large response, in which we are excessively motivated and excessively crave whatever we are thinking about. This caused researchers to hypothesize that engaging in other behaviors that may increase our levels of dopamine that are not quite as addictive may be a way to reduce our risk of relapse and reduce the cravings associated. There are a few things that do appear to be able to induce this response. Exercise causes an increase in dopamine levels and has been demonstrated to reduce cravings associated with substance use disorder. Social connections and social interactions also increase dopamine levels. And there is evidence that positive behavior change to increase social relationships and social behavior is encouraged during the recovery process. And finally, one of the actual roles that I do see for cold water immersion is to increase dopamine production and help with psychiatric disorders, such as anxiety, depression, emotional disturbances, as well as addiction recovery. With that being said, I would absolutely encourage talking to a psychologist or a psychiatrist before making any changes because they can likely provide far more nuanced information for your given scenario. However, understanding the way that addictive substances or addictive behaviors alter the dopaminergic system can provide novel insights in ways that we can increase dopamine levels and thus decrease cravings and risk of relapse. With that being said, if you would like an individualized approach to your nutrition and lifestyle to optimize your health, energy, and body composition, send me a DM to sign up for coaching.